Hello Gemini, this is Caro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are going to perform 2020 Singles Love Tarot reading in Tarot Solar Sun Studio. And uh, I have actually progressed, uh, but then the camera memory has finished, so I have to uh, record it. Um, now, Gemini, I would like to uh, uh, start uh, doing this reading once again. Uh, and uh, I will um, uh, try to come from uh, where I have started. Uh, I haven't uh, opened the rest of the cards, but um, let me please uh, begin uh, from where I have uh, started. So uh, this reading is um, uh, consisting of three sections. This is the first spread here, you see. This is the second spread and this is the third spread with some additional cards, as you can see. Um, now here we are going to see your relationship patterns. We Here we are going to see uh, some issues surrounding you, your behavioral patterns and what you need to change uh, and uh, what you need to liberate within yourself in order to allow life to, uh, love to come into your life and we will see uh, throughout 2020 uh, and consecutively uh, also also it may also lead up to 2021 as well what is manifesting for you here as a person uh, when we see the manifestation uh, we, we see uh, if you're gonna repeat the same patterns or not and uh, or um, are you falling into the same patterns or is there something fresh here? So based on the uh, here information coming, uh, you can also work on the things that uh, you uh, prefer to and uh, uh, making your uh, love life uh, to manifest for you uh, uh, in a way which is uh, uh, close to your soul. Um, we have here what we need part actually, we have here what we want card, but Tarot will tell us always what we need, so uh, I will also uh, talk about that. Now I want to uh, start from uh, the first three cards, this is who you were, uh, sorry, this is your uh, dating history, okay, your dating history, where uh, you have been, we have also what you think you want, we have uh, what you really need. Uh, we have the reality check, we have the advice section, uh, and again, this uh, what you need to change, we will also explore here. Let's start from the first card, Page of Swords, this is who you were, this is who your partner was in your uh, past and the relationship you were in. So in the past, Gemini, I see you here, um, Always with uh, coming with some questions and uh, analyzing, uh, uh, analyzing your relationship, maybe, um, but connecting uh, your relationship with a youthful energy. Uh, Page of Swords here is uh, you have too many questions in your mind, and um, it's like uh, something is you. Of course, we are not accepting that you are single and this relationship is over. So uh, your uh, here pattern is um, like like interrogation because I think devil is telling me that there is something wrong with the person. They have either uh, uh, have a manipulative approach. They either have a controlling approach in the relationship, uh, or uh, there are addictions. And you are here questioning something, bring them, bringing them some questions maybe, but for of were telling me the relationship itself do not have answers for it, like everything is like feeling uh, imprisoned, like this uh, flower imprisoned in between two uh, 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 swords here. So it's like you want to cut out maybe a etheric cord here, okay, or what is it that... Um, uh, maybe creating devil codependency and you were trying for that there was something wrong you were asking questions every time to this person maybe uh, and you do not know in you know why they have uh, done or behave or you know uh, in a certain way so you you come with these questions 
So the other person like uh, creating a maybe an unconscious force for you to stay in the relationship. They create a kind of a desire, an impulse, uh, or they, they are good at pushing your buttons. Like, here is your buttons. <laughs> like, you know, that is this, but not in a, a negative sense. So they are uh, trying to give you something to keep occupy you, like, uh, you know, devil game. So, they all, or they are like in the promise of something, but this keeps you like stay in the relationship until uh, some time. Seducing, tempting. Page of Swords will be tempted when... Uh, uh, he or she is um, is it like worth questioning or if something like awaken uh, his or her curiosity is awakening uh, he will always uh, or she will always give in so the person your person is always like awakening something within you like um, tempting your curiosity but when you come with questions uh, they like taking the candy away and me making you like tied up to something. Four of Swords, feeling imprisoned with questions and don't know actually what it's really about, but deep down you know that something is wrong. So a connection maybe, uh, which has also proved some, um, the person maybe here, uh, you try to break an absolute rationalism or some fixed notions that they were building or you have built some fixed notions later to be like, uh, uh, to diminish them, uh, but it was too uh, uh, late, maybe, at some point. There is this non-lived uh, ideas, theory-wise. It's like the person is always uh, coming with the idea, let's actualize this, let's do that, you know, c coming and bringing a kind of a temptation desire, but when it comes to doing them, you know, people not doing. So I think the person used it, has used your uh, curiosity and um, I don't know, like making themselves a bit tyrant in this connection, I do feel. Mm, and then you try to break free from this pattern. Now, Gemini, uh, I would like to talk about the second part. So this is what you want. So every person says, right, I know what I want. But Tarot tells us actually what you need. I see here you are looking for the intellectual stimulation in your relationships. Uh, and uh, for you, it's important to share uh, ideas and it's important what your relationship also is communicating here um, so what your relationship is communicating or will be communicating it seems important to you and uh, here you want your relationship maybe um, to engage with different encounters like uh, have a kind of a capacity um, no boredom is allowed. It's like, um, let's use our critical faculties, faculties to build up uh, a good looking relationship. Uh, there is also rapidness maybe you look for, a high energy in your relationship. Um, and uh, yeah, and let's make our feelings known each other. A night of swords can be also fast social media. Like you want to be out there. Here maybe in your first relationship or in this uh, connection you were in, there was something taboo-like. Lots of excitement, activity, soci socializing. Uh, and uh, you are looking for, let's say. So here, um, maybe this is like you and against all the world it's like there is like a rival a competition like element like you want to be a team with your partner there is great excitement you look for uh, and of course uh, i hope uh, 2020 through uh, life gets back to its normal uh, position of course i hope uh, all of us now we go through this uh, you know what we are going to do as world, uh, but I hope uh, 
it's not going to be forever for sure this is but uh, uh, I hope as a Gemini co uh, consciousness with the relationships that you will be forming uh, in the healthy manner you will uh, also uh, contribute to the collective so here there is an excitement um, here you want them to uh, you want to be uh, eight of pentacles and you want them to be three of cups Gemini you want to put a perfect work for your relationship you want to work for to be in the service of your relationship there is a prosper por, prosperous fullness you want to bring you want to evoke harmony you want to evoke wealth um, like everything like needs are met and um, you want this connection to make you eight of pentacles a complete person like and through this completeness eight is also you know the mobi is stripped there is an awareness of eternity infinity it's like a, you want to taste this is what eights are always reminds me and um, there is a kind of a active uh, participation of your relationship you want other person to be your three of cups ideal lover romantic lover like a friend like a lover where you can um, have this heartfelt emotional experiences uh, the person's um, here contribution there is something that uh, you idealize actually and this is also there is a heart here it protects the base of this cup so like a protector person maybe uh, of the emotional foundations of your relationship uh, I also see a heartfelt connection you seek um, and um, there was something missing maybe emotionally um, and um, so you are actually looking for that emotional feeling wise and uh, nourishment nurturing from the other side and you want to be in service of your relationship you want to also here actualize yourself, by the way. Uh, and um, yeah, there is a kind of a motivation you find in the uh, emotional motivation of the other person. But the relationship you think you want is an exciting one, definitely. Uh, however, the tarot says here is what you need. What you need is a partner, the world type of partners. So these these people, you need people with a, a maturity, Gemini. So uh, it says 2020, you know, look for these qualities because uh, it can really... Um, can be uh, good for you plus a person like who has been there done that so a person who's not who is not maybe in like a beginner's mind so it's a wheel of fortune almost the card to me um, and um, th the person is like a no surprise person they are out there okay not a beginner the person who has a has a sense of accomplishment who has a self actualization with the world uh, a person who can create abundance security for uh, themselves for uh, for the relationship strong charismatic people uh, and plus um, people who can step up for their love and um, they world people they do not ha have fear from pay failure they they d learn from it uh, and uh, people who doesn't have an unresolved conflict uh, at least not for the relationship i mean uh, you know stay making creating unresolved conflicts but rather people who come with solution uh, some qualities also actually people uh, Yes, there is a comfort zone in the world because one like finds their place. But I think your quality here, uh, this is you at your best card. You at your best card is like a nine of wands person. Now in the martial text, this is a bit different. Nine of wands. Nine of wands is actually very enthusiastic, dynamic energy. There is a physical force from you, like becoming the becoming the warrior of your relationship. Not because that you are uh, seeing life or relationship like a battleground, but nine of wands is telling me that there is a strong survival uh, mode. Um, there is this key energy that needs to be channel channeled, and. Um, 
you are at your best when you step up and take complete responsibility and uh, knowing that you surround yourself with uh, good people and uh, people who are good for you uh, you are at your best when you believe that you deserve love okay and um, and the world here will actually complete nine of wands in a way this is a love that can last through good times and bad times of life so um, sometimes people like uh, in love when everything is going smooth and when things are not smooth they go out right but the world and the nine of wands is like really uh, partners in crime uh, it's like uh, people who are to, who can go to the thick and uh, thin and at these times throughout 2020 this is a relationship where each people can prove that they can each other good partners because uh, the world here challenges us to be of substance making a reliable partner for us so it can we also with the strength we have we grow into a person of confidence so this is how you uh, what you need it says which is going to make a relationship actually all these uh, completeness uh, within each of you uh, will make a, a co new construction in the relationship three of pentacles relationship that pe can, be, people uh, can invest for the future um, for some of you, I, I see the world person, uh, the person can be uh, different than your usual maybe origin of country. Maybe there is something he, uh, with um, you will uh, be engaging with that person from a different country, the world. And Three of Pentacles makes someone uh, to start a life in another place, it can be physically. Uh, not maybe at the other side of the world, but in a different uh, physical place it can be. Uh, by the way, there can be also, for some of you, um, Three of Pentacles is two cells come together, produce the first. Uh, for those who want to have a child, this is a good sign, by the way. And um, yeah. Um, it's like two completed person making creating an enthusiastic beginnings in their relationships. However, let's see uh, your reality check. Your reality check, check uh, Gemini. This is going to represent now um, where you are at. Judgment as the card of uh, how you perceived by others, the type of person you are attracting, three of swords, and we have also the relationships you are attracting. The relationships you are attracting are, you need, we need two people here complete. Uh, you do not have a responsibility here to fix someone or actually complete someone or, um, but here is more of like uh, people need to be accountable for themselves. Uh, and um, because from that completeness, the uh, co collaboration will be born. Um, Gemini, you are perceived by others, uh, by a person. Maybe you are uh, separate from your family uh, judgment or you are uh, have been in the g great midst of change. You change a vocation, maybe address, you have made physical changes, you go through a lot. Uh, but I see maybe you were uh, also waiting for something to be announced and this has all affected your life. There is a life experience. People are perceiving you with a life experience, which is also affecting your work, maybe family or your past. But uh, seeing that, others seeing that you are making a new beginning uh, in your life. But the type of person you are attracting, three of swords, now assuming that you are single now, you uh, attract people who has the three of swords, the red sword can be the fanatic idea. People who has some fanatical thoughts about things, it can be three of swords. Uh, it's like to your uh, perspective and uh, change, People who, who is responding with only, I don't know, maybe one known truth, but not tested, being fanatical about something. Uh, maybe people who's, who are a bit shallow, they refuse to push deeper, or uh, they have a lack 
of uh, making things, uh, always leaving things half finished. Maybe you attract three-sidedness in the relationships. Uh, there is also a partners that you attract with high ego. Okay, high ego. And relationships which have, have some taboos taboos in which you learn later it can be like facing with some uh, facts in a uh, later uh, period of your relationship so maybe every time it becomes an awakening uh, point for you i will start this one but i have suddenly decided to open these cards let's see your advice working for you is seven of pentacles working against your debt and how to maximize your chance for finding love, two of ones. Now, Earth energy is uh, here working for you. Now, for your love life, Seven of Pentacles here telling me that um, when you align your body, spirit, and your mind, uh, and um, put the necessary efforts into something that uh, you invest in something, let's say, and want to see if this is going to make sense for the future. This approach is good for you. Um, there is a here, don't over-evaluate, but make a, enough evaluation uh, to move forward, but don't uh, overthink or over-evaluate, okay? Have some security in your material life. Uh, Seven of Pentacles here is that we, are, we can be in the service of our relationships, but we are not slave to our relationships or our partners. Uh, it talks about uh, economic independence and um, uh, rather than destroying, that is not working for you. Uh, this is like a, now a kind of a destroy, you know, keep to your, keep, uh, keep your original goals. If a relationship ends, do not uh, 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 diminish your goals or, you know, or do not feel like you are half feel complete. You will be complete yourself. Be complete yourself. Uh, do not uh, put all the realization uh, into the other person and do not let when they go uh, to destroy your original goal, goals or dreams. Um, too much intensity, this is a Scorpio card, is not working. A light-hearted energy is needed, but a major approach. How to say, people really knowing what they are speaking. And, uh, uh, you know, th th this works for you. Um, two of us, on the other hand, how to maximize your uh, chance to find love. This is your envisioning, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. These are really future-oriented cards. Um, your ideal or what you want to form for the future or any idea that you can bring uh, out inspiring you for the future, bring a kind of enthusiasm. And when you are in the preparation of actualizing that idea, I think a love can really manifesting for you because this is going to attract people towards you. This is the idea here. Now, let's talk about other uh, spreads here. Now, Emperor represents you and the issues surrounding you. There is a, maybe a problem with um, stability in life now. Um, the way you establish yourself or with the authority figures in general, with um, maybe some father issues okay which is influencing your love life this is you actually taking the control of your life i think this is about your self-establishment and uh, self-authority it can be that uh, you try to here um, work on it your behavioral patterns with the knight of wands uh, which are influencing your love life well maybe uh, here, we, Knight of Wands that do not uh, offer us consistency. There is something here with maybe consistency uh, in terms of behavioral pattern, or this is um, 
Night of Fans can be instant gratifications we look for. Uh, do not go for instant gratification or it's like date like crazy, for instance. Uh, have a grounded, something with your grounded approach. Maybe due to the uh, security you could not uh, establish or hard time establishing. That's why you cannot keep up with one person, maybe for some of you, not for uh, 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 each of you, for sure. But here there is something with... Uh, less security making you like uh, like looking from from the door and you know trying to see if someone uh, is there and if they are there okay you see them but you go out or you know it's that um do not make you to uh, root yourself this night of one's energy it's behavioral patterns with the root or where you want to root yourself it can be uh, the areas that need further growth in order for you to find love the chariot wow uh okay this is the this is a yes chariot is a, about our feelings but control over emotions and uh, your discipline uh, now cancer i think uh, sorry gemini maybe you 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 that can be a cancer person maybe uh, manifesting for you uh, as we have the chariot maybe i have channeled it um uh, there is here something with your roots. Cancer is also home. Chariot is also the self-discipline, uh, but also control over your emotions so you can actually feel more. Something with the roots, feelings, like how you want to feel, what you want to feel, you attend that. But it's like, do not drag by emotions, it's say. There is a here a dragging energy, like two times on the horse and the chariot. So something with your roots, uh, I think, uh, needs further growth or how you want to root yourself, okay? Because this is going to attract people. Now let's look at some areas you need to change or process in order to find love. King of Swords, wow, lots of really uh, self-authority people here we have the the honest communication with yourself okay what you want to know you ask yourself first and answering it our inner honest open conversation with ourselves how we communicate uh, our ideas with ourselves are we being honest to ourselves and i um I feel like Gemini. Um, there is something there with um, so this is going to be the what you need to change with, with regards to your communication style. I think there is something there. Mm. Are you like uh, uh, drawn towards, for instance, people? who have uh, some authority that this uh, charismatic energy but then you find them too strict authoritarian or fanatic actually that they how to say uh, there is this mild element you need to go towards not too intense because that is something you need to avoid so i don't know but you need some harnessing energy and um, using your faculties in order to create positive uh, active uh, communication is important um, there is also an area in terms of communication that i think you need to look deeply um, like taking the control of something uh, in a way that there needs to be some logic in some uh, parts of life and um, see how you can adapt the logic into something uh, with honesty, fairness um, and how you can articulate uh, here things, uh, the things which has uh, utmost uh, importance to you. Uh, it is important for you to dispel tense, tense situations here. Um, being clear, more clarifying is important rather than making things a hairy, let's say. And um, I don't know, clear direction, clear guidance, you know, no uh, tangled uh, things. 
Yeah. You need a clear approach about something. Applying. Because this is going to attract people. Pushing when necessary. Let me see the uh, what you need to liberate within yourself to allow love into your life. Six of Wands. There is something here with the ego you need to liberate. Something with the ego, uh, the way that you show up, show off uh, your presentation. Uh, Six of Wands is a very presented, uh, presented card. Uh, this can be also what you need to liberate within yourself. Six of Wands. Sometimes Six of Wands can be sometimes an arrogant card. It can be a quite you know ego-like card. Uh, it can be like a card, for instance, one person try to beat the other uh, in a like a uh, competition. But I don't know. But the person actually have issues with their security and stability actually victory is not something that they uh, necessarily look for rich but here uh, a fair honest uh, secure stable uh, element you need to bring um, also you need to know what you deserve liberate yourself the idea that you don't deserve or, no you deserve the best six of ones people can get what they really deserve. So you deserve good. This is what you need to remind yourself. And you, uh, what you need to liberate, you don't uh, have to go for things which are average, okay? Average people um, who cannot give uh, love or manipulate or too fanatic, okay? There is a, a kind of a fluidity maybe you uh, look for here. Uh, this is what I'm feeling. Now, let's see your romance angel cards. Unrequited love. Give your relationship chance and very soon. So, there has been an unrequited love for you, it seems. That you have come to understand that this was, uh, you know, over. Uh, maybe you towards them or they towards you. Um, we have to give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It is not going to... Letting go easily is not um, something that you, I think, uh, uh, hold on. I mean, if there is something you need to work on, take responsibility for your relationship, uh, bring that uh, quality out, it says. And when you clearly decide what you want, uh, it will come to you now, it says. So three uh, important things. Throughout uh, 2020, you may go to the unrequited love. Uh, there can be a person that you also need to really work hard on this relationship. It's not an easy love. Actually, Seven of Pentacles works for you to put really the effort in your relationships and evaluate. Easily letting go of something or losing something won't uh, uh, help you. It, through a connection, I feel like you will establish also, also yourself and you can really get... Uh, and. Uh, uh, benefits of experience of your person, the world person, is full of uh, Saturnian, you know, advice. So then what we do, surround your outdated beliefs about yourself, Gemini. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Yes. So there is a, a refresh. Yeah, the judgments will actually give you that because... Uh, uh, I think in 2020, neither people nor the communities, governments, we won't be the same people after we uh, go to do this. Everyone will change so radically and this will also affect the qualities of the relationship, uh, relationships that we uh, look for. Because uh, the times are such that uh, it uh, requires responsibility and uh, I think uh, to take responsibility is a good uh, way. This is also, you know, uh, Uranus is in Taurus, so, um, yeah, the, our responsibilities will be also tested here, I think. Uh, so rather the idea you can fix someone, it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own taking, yes. This is what I was uh, talking about. That's why you need the world type of person. A person who does not need a fix. 
but uh, rather is ready for a connection, mature partner, surrounded to receiving support and love. Oh yes, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Allow the love and the support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Yes, that is a side of you. I think from Three of Cups you want this emotionally, but actually don't fall for the average. You can have the better version of that even. When you be yourself, not an eight, but a nine person. Mm. I feel like this 2020 will make you to really get the responsibility of your relationship. That's why it wants you to be the emperor, maybe, this quality. Yeah, when you establish yourself better, you will establish that love relationship. Now, let's see what is manifesting for you, Gemini friends. So let's start from the first card. Your new love interest is the star. Their vocation is two of swords. Best characteristics, magician. Their flaws, five of swords. Oh. Their physical features, eight of wands. This person can be, uh, I don't know, ethnically or, you know, background, country-wise, can be very different than you. Sagittarian type. Something not familiar to you. Can, can be from more of a broad uh, a broad place, by the way. Uh, this is like uh, your new love interest is a fresh, um, yeah, there is a future with them. They have very original ideas, very inventive person, I see. I will come to the cards, but uh, let's see their first impression of you. Oh, they are seeing like a high rough. This person thinks that you will teach them something. And uh, you have very uh, mutual uh, communication. You, you, this person do not feel like they have to explain themselves to you, by the way. Uh, they, um, um, your first impressions for them, page of swords. Oh, you see the, in, in these people what you were before. You will instantly recognize the person. When you see this person in your relationship, you may say, I was like you, like in a relationship. You will see this person is really um, questioning. This is a very inventive person. You will like their ideas. And they are very youthful. Uh, yeah, Paige and the Hierophant, by the way, this can be like a teacher-student type of relationship as well. Hierophant and the Paige. Uh, let's let's see the uh, their emotional connection to you. Oh, this person is uh, like uh, feeling like a knight in shiny armor. Your emotional oh, there is love here. Yes, emotionally, this is definitely three of cups. Will uh, what you want was three of cups. There is a romanticism in the air. You will really care for each other, but this person may remind you someone from past. So, now, let's see, um, strength of the relationship, king of cups, wow, good emotional ground, a relationship which cannot really easily shaken in the hard times, can really go through ups and downs, the weakness, high priestess, but there is some um, things which are not talked, the communication wise, it's not that open, there is a, also a secret influencer to the relationship. High priestess can be a mother type uh, or a secret person, which is, a, you know, influencing the relationship. There is a woman here, but it uh, can be more like an elder woman, maybe the mother of the person. The long-term potential, page of cups. The relationship has a definitely a long-term potential. It's like an oasis. Uh, in the times of uh, difficulties, as you appreciate, but you have future with them. Uh, you, you have a future with this person, and I think the first thing you will realize, it can be Aquarian type of person, I don't know, but I see a kind of Aquarius energy there, air sign energy, I, feel, I felt. In your reading, there is an air sign energy. Um, you may, by the way, 
uh, meet with this person um, a lot of uh, online by the way energy we have that there is also a lot of online energy um, you can uh, uh, the person by the way um, this is a Libra card they can do something with computers a lot of air energy um, they do not have to see people in order to give them service you know what i mean they this person's job occupation they don't need to engage people one-on-one -on -one, but they can do it there's like a computer thing here i see uh in their job the the person uh, have to be very professional behave very professional so it's like they can really open up all their emotional world to you, by the way, this person. Their best characteristics, this is a, like a, a very inventive person. Like they can really um, share with you very original things, like first time you hear, initiator person, um, a person who can really, you know, rise the, I don't know capability of uh, human human uh, actions can be very magical. I mean, definitely. Um, but their flaw here is uh, will come out in the arguments. They may like a bit of win and lose type of uh, arguments, so be careful about that. Uh, you know, they may see arguments not something like uh, to uh, or disputes. Uh, uh, to grow from or making that exchange but they can see them like a win and lose be careful that they are not abusive in their communication they are definitely uh, have a different um, ethnical background than you this person will by the way will see you like you have some accomplishments you have an influence over uh, people or public or um they see you like a teacher type good emotional communication i see but there is a secret person there i want to get one card from the maybe their mother or they get a lot of influence oh king of cups and the high priestess oh that can be also with the money here or the value a secret money like a hidden the person may like have something they can hide from you like they say they don't have it but they actually have it okay uh, with the money with something valuable grand signora and the king of cups and this was the um, strength of the our relationship you won't see a, this person like a dubious person. This is a good man or woman of character, I do feel. Definitely. But uh, they have a bit, win, you know, to win arguments kind of approach. Yeah. But I don't think you are repeating now this, uh, what you are attracting. You are finding a different relationship, emotional quality in terms of future elements this is something fresh gemini this is something fresh ah i don't know but um with this person there is a lot of private time together mm. that privately you can really explore many things and the person has some hopes and some plans for the future in which they will like share with you uh, at the first time you may want to get involved to their plans with your eight of pentacles and nine of wands here so yeah mm. uh, whatever you go to the, at the outside world you will have like uh, emotional confessions towards each other very romantic like bouquets and yeah it's all about flowers here very very nurturing one but how to say this person in their job vocation they are can be completely a different person that you do not recognize but in their private life there are two different uh, person personas let's say 
maybe this is going to be there can be some ups and downs that every time you will find yourself giving this connection a chance and finally letting go of an unrequited love as you meet with this person and this is a person actually showing up as you uh, clearly decide what you want the person who is manifesting is not literally what you need but not literally what you want but something in a more uh, milder as aspect but you don't uh, i think repeat a pattern but you will see this person maybe being you in one of your previous uh, relationships you may <clears throat> give this person a warning don't be that for instance i used to do that <clears throat> excuse me i used to be that <clears throat> So, yeah, that's why they see you like a high profound. Age-wise, uh, you can be maybe older than them. So this can be pers younger person, it can be, or different, but it can be teacher-student kind of relationship as well. Wow, Gemini. So thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, this reading is more uh, in detail, in private. But this is how I come up with singles, uh, love tarot readings. Um, I also use a lot of clarification in the privates, but um, this is really uh, a, something which is aiming you to give you something sustainable and not an instant gratification. It shows you your relationship patterns and issues surrounding love and what is manifesting for you. Are you repeating the old patterns or you know, something fresh is coming? What you really need to know, <coughs> excuse me, about your love life will definitely show up in this reading. So if you are interested in this type of in-depth tarot readings, uh, which is crafted in this way, you can contact me uh, the information is at the description box below for private readings. Thank you so much, Gemini, for watching. I will speak to you soon. Take good care. Ciao for now.